So I am doing a book review um, about a book that I read from Dr. Phil when I was in college and it was probably about five years ago. So I just kind of wanted to do a review about it. Um, it was a self-help book and it was called um, Self Matters. Um, so I've read two books by Dr. Phil and I really liked it a lot. This was the first one that I read. It was called, um, Self Matters. So, uh, briefly for the first, um, part of this book summary, I am going to kind of, um, go into, touch on different subjects that Dr. Phil, um, talks about in Self Matters. Um, so first he starts off with the book, the first chapter, and he's saying, um, you know, if your life, imagine, you know, your life as if it could really be like if you were really worth five million dollars and if, you know, you're a woman, you're a super mom and you really, you know, weigh a hundred pounds and you've been happily married for 20 years. Um, and then in the second, um, chapter, he gets into, you know, he does, he, he, he really gets an important um, into what's important to you in life, and I've heard him, um, say his, on his show, one of the, one of the quotes on his show that was really important to me is that it says that people make decisions based on what their priorities are, so, um, this, um, you know, in chapter two, he gets more into if you really want, if you really want to get what you want in life, the first thing that you need to do is you really do need to know right now who you are, um, and then, um, in the third chapter, he gets into, um, you know, your personal idea about who you really are, and that's called self-concept, um, and in the third chapter, he kind of gets into, you know, how the idea of self com you know, self-concept is about what people are saying about you and what your environment is around you, like, if you are doing really well in your career and people are saying that you're great, um, then that's going to give you, an, a, you know, a really a strong idea of uh, what you think about yourself. Um, he also gets into, and I've seen him do this on the show as well as in the book, Self Matters. Um, he says, like, the top ten moments in your life that were very important to you. Um, then, and I've also seen this in his um, show... Um, he gets into the seven very most important, um, biggest, like, life-altering decisions that you had to make. When was the crossroads of your life and you're making, like, an absolute life-altering decision? Um, and then he also gets to, and, and, and I've also seen this as well, um, in his show, but also in the book Self Matters, Dr. Phil then talks about the five most important people, so I assume that the first two would hopefully be your parents and then, you know, other people probably, you know, your husband or then people that you were working with, so, f you know, five people that are very important um, in, into you, um, and then he also gets into um, control in your life. Um, then he gets into, um, internal dialogue, and I've also seen Dr. Phil talk about that on his show, and it's basically where, it could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing if somebody, um, says something to you, um, you know, you are repeating it to yourself, like, you know, um, like if somebody said to you, oh, you could never do that, and you repeat it to yourself a thousand times, and then many, many years later, you know, or you're, and a doll that still keeps haunting you, and you, you just keeps, you keep, you know, repeating to yourself, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that, and you just keep repeating it in your, in your head five times a day, and that's internal dialogue, and somebody has said something about you one time 30 years ago, and you just get it in your mind, it makes you feel insecure, and you keep repeating it to yourself day in and day in and day in. And the book, you know, told me, and it reminded me that it's really important what we are saying to yourselves. Uh, next we go on to, um, labels and, you know, they could be a good thing or a good, you know, a bad thing if you're a mom, if you're a student, if you're, you know, a boss at a, uh, company. Um, then we go into, which is a little bit like labels, we go into life script and then they have like a five-step action plan. So let's say, 
you're a dad and you have like a certain you know daily routine um that you are doing and then let's say that you need um you know five steps that needs to um get done everything that you want to get done um and then um he goes into like sort of at the end of the book in the last couple of chapters dr phil goes into um putting the plan to work and of course that's important because you can like write down all the steps and think about this for a year but it, it won't change your life if you don't do anything um and then he kind of covers a bad topic um after that but it's called sabotage it's sort of like how we sort of got in our own way and um you know things like that um and i really liked it a lot i give it a thumbs up i don't know who would not benefit from reading this um it's called self matters and i read it when i was in college and i thought it was a very encouraging positive book and i thought that it was really good because i've been watching you know the dr phil show for many 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 years and i just think that it was important especially he starts off his book by saying that you need to figure out who you are what your role you know what your role in life is and then from there after you figure out who you truly are then that's when you need you need two things you need to figure out who you are and where you need to get to in life and then the entire plan uh, the entire book kind of goes into sort of drawing up a drawing board and a list you know in a year from now your goals and how you're going to get to where you want to um be in your life i think it's a good book for anybody to read and i also think it's a good book for anybody to read especially if they are not at a place where they want to be um in their life like let's say they're unemployed let's say that they're going through a divorce you know something like that because that that is where you are in your life and then there's a difference between like you know where you want to be and dr phil first goes into figuring out who you are and then figuring out um the steps that you need um when you get there um yeah so anyway i give it a hundred percent um very effective it was very nicely done 10 out of 10. um i've been watching the dr phil show for many 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 years and he has amazing advice on his show and then he also has incredible advice um in his book so I read this in college about five years ago, but I still remember it. So I wanted to um, just do sort of a book review on it. And it's by Dr. Phil and it's called Self Matters.